Here are some quick thoughts on Atomic Heart. The early sections of Atomic gave the impression of a title padding for time, and sometimes this is fine, but when I'm confronted with four individual fetch quests at once, I start to consider what else I could be doing with my life. Luckily, Atomic has a lot of heart in the combat department. Enemies feel satisfying to fight, and while I never felt overpowered, I never felt underpowered either. Another nice balance is that of the story and world building. Atomic has a story, and that's about as much as I really want to say about that. On the flip side, it has a ton of engrossing background detail that rarely failed to make me raise an eyebrow in concern or burst out laughing at its stupidity. It's very much like Bioshock in that regard. The comparison many have made, and while it does feel warranted, it doesn't always feel fair to hold Atomic up to Bioshock's level of all-time masterpiece. Also, there's some bugs. I'll quickly wrap this up by saying Atomic Heart is a game I don't regret picking up, despite it being a surprisingly horny game that upsets me sometimes.